Remember when you ran away and I got on my knees and begged you not to leave because I go berserk? Well, you left me anyhow, and then the days got worse and worse, and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind. You with a, I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. Right. Fucking thing sucks. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. Everybody always thinks if you're in if you're in the press, you just you have to believe that the government is evil, don't you think? I think that's the first thing in journalism 101. They teach you. You know, it the government me about is a year to start hating the 9/11 victims' families. It took me about a year. Just like, oh, shut up. I'm so sick of them because they're always complaining. Victims faster than the 9 11. He has exposed himself as a guy over and over and over again who has a deep seated hatred for white people or the white culture. I don't know what. I'm just a guy who cares. I'm thinking about killing Michael Moore. I'm saying he has a problem. He has a. This guy is, I believe, a racist. Um, they're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. They're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, haha. -ha. To the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time. And I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats. And they're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. About Christmas, you know. This is a time to be tolerant of people of all religions. Oh, please. Religions. You don't want to be tolerant well, of people of other religions? No, there's about two people <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Putting it, it up a, there, you're missing uh, the point. It's a mockery it of what 85% of the general got, public believes We've got to be tolerant of people who celebrate uh, holidays in December, like Ramadan. We've got to be tolerant. You know, you got to be tolerant of... I am people. tolerant. I'm all for free speech and free rights, just not on December 25th. On Ramadan, we stopped bombing on Ramadan. That was a salute, right? Okay, I, I can't believe you guys. I'm gonna say what I said yesterday. I can't to believe take you guys are the same. They're coming to take me away. Ho ho hee hee ha ha to the happy home with trees and flowers and chirping birds and basket weavers who sit and smile and twiddle their thumbs and toes and they're coming to take me away. <laughs> Kathy, get off my phone! Get off my phone, you little pinhead! And how, and was, would you consent to be uh, waterboarded yes. so we could get the truth out of you? Yeah, sure. We can waterboard you? Sure. Uh, or are you busy on Sunday? No, <laughs> you just wait. They'll find you yet, and when they do, they'll put you in the ASPCA, you mangy mutt! We have lured these people. Uh, we have lured these people in this country oh, with a robot job a in a country where there is basically full domestic and one. We have for decades lured them here. This now we're starting a mob scene. They're gonna have money. You're gonna. You want your viewers to knock knocking on knock knock people's door, door, door. Are you an illegal? I'm gonna take you outside and do something. We were Why on you Hannity said that? We were discussing the the anti-war protesters. Canada used to be. One of our most lo most loyal friends, and vice versa. I mean, Canada sent troops to Vietnam. Was Vietnam less containable and more of a threat? No, actually, than Canada Saddam did Hussein? not send troops to Vietnam. I don't think that's right. Canada did not send. And smile and twiddle their thumbs and toes, and they're coming to take me away. <laughs> to the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time, and I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats, and they're coming to take me away. Get off my phone! Get off my phone!